you make something to make someone feel something. And I've lost that somewhere along the way. But I think that the reason you lose anything is so that you can find what you need at some point. And I think I'm on my way to finding what I need. In 2017, I was kind of falling apart. I was living in the city, going through the motions. I was making animation, but my life was bound to purely that. I worked in a cold, dark studio. I lived in a basement. I tried drawing. I tried painting, but I was still depressed. I wasn't happy. I didn't see it then. It's so obvious now what I needed. It was right in front of me all along. I just didn't know that yet. Hi there, it's DJ B, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys an studio tour. So this is my studio. <laughs> it's nothing really special. This is my actual art desk for traditional based drawing and painting and everything. Um, so my models, my models all live up there. My computer lives over there. And sometimes models in progress live in here. So when you exit my bedroom and go around the corner, that's where my studio is. So works really well. I love it. I started customizing in an attempt to gain back my sense of artistic freedom and hold fast to the traditional and physical mediums I once loved. It helped. It really did. But when I would visit home, my life was so much fuller. My muse was attainable, and I often questioned why I left in the first place. Quite frankly, I missed it unbearably bad. I missed my horses. And I missed the happiness that came from this kind of connection. to be the hardest decision of my entire life. Hi there, it's DJ B, and in this video, I'm going to be boxing all of my model horses because I am actually moving, and it's going to make some big changes in the studio, it's going to make some big changes in my life. I had a dream to work in film, I definitely made that dream a reality. I realized in this four years that I'm really not a city person. It'd be really hard to be away from my boyfriend for some time because he is the love of my life. This wasn't just about me. This was also about chance. And leaving the city also meant leaving him behind. there, it's DJ B, and in this video, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a studio tour. This room is the spare bedroom in our house, so my parents have graciously lended me this space, and the bulk of my studio work resides at my desk, and this is my double stacked bed. This is my parents' guest bed, and then the bed that I brought with me from the city. I love it. Over here is the great studio supply uh, shelving. At this point, I was wondering if it was even possible to have it all. I was caught between the life I wanted and the person I loved. A successful career in the arts or one based on commission.
I didn't know how to find the balance. And I had a lot of uncertainty. Looking into my life a little bit, it is difficult. It's been really hard being away from my boyfriend, but you can definitely see that the lifestyle is a lot different and it's really, really inspiring to be around animals all the time and have, you know, your backyard to go outside and it's beautiful and nice and it's not crowded with people. So the move was definitely something that I had to do for my mental health and I feel a million times better. I still have bad days, I still have highs and I still have lows, but as a whole I'm not panicking and feeling absolutely worthless. So I've had a really amazing summer this year. It's been full of crazy things and I've done a lot of model horses, a lot of art, and been very successful and it's been really awesome. So I'm very happy with my decision. I still not like the most perfect scenario, but it's way better than where I was and I'm 100% happy that I made that choice. Saved message yesterday, 10, 13 p.m. Hi, um, this is Chancellor, your boyfriend, uh, in case you didn't recognize the number. Um, so we're moving in together, like, next week or something. But you're coming to Vancouver tomorrow night, and then we're not leaving each other. And then we're gonna be living at your parents' house for a little bit until we find a place of our own. And then we're living together. And I am really excited. I just wanted to say goodnight. On our last night, alone, separate. Hi there, it's DJ B, and today I'm going to be giving you a studio room tour. Now, if you guys have been following me since the beginning, you will have known that I recently moved, and this actually made it so that I have way more space than I've ever had for studio. Now I have three different stations for sculpting, painting, and dremeling. So I'm going to give you a bit of a studio tour. Alright, you can probably hear the printer in the background. This is super impromptu. Essentially, Chance and I have been living in this rental for two years. We've had our studio set up for two years in here. It hasn't been good since we moved in. There's been various issues while living here, and those issues aren't really things that are easily overseen. It's actually quite awful. We intended to move at the end of the year into our own house that we are going to be purchasing. So we were planning on staying here, obviously, um, until that point. Stuff kind of got worse in a matter of a couple of days and we feel like it's best that we just cut ties, cut our losses, and get out as fast as we can. Unfortunately, it sucks because I do love this space. I love this apartment. Like, I've had no problems with it other than it being a basement, so it's quite cold and lacks natural lighting, but the space itself and the way that we've been able to utilize the space with my printing business and my model horse business and the studio as it is has been awesome. So we're gonna move in with my parents. I'm like excited to get out for the reasons obviously that have been difficult but I'm not excited to leave this behind. I mean this is the place where Bacillus grew and this is the place where Jorg was finished. Within three days we've decided and already started packing and we're going to probably be out of here in two weeks. So it makes good YouTube content but it really kills my business. <laughs>
this is what we're left with. So I didn't really film the unboxing process of everything, but this is the new studio. But it's essentially one table for everything again. But this is like the same room that my collection is in, which is really fun. My second and third business live out here, so this is actually my wall of artwork that I have done as a child. <laughs> Additionally, in my brother's room, I have my computer and my big printer set up. It works between these three rooms. Not ideal, but we're only here for two months now. And as I film this, we actually have been officially approved for the mortgage, which is so exciting. So that means it's all a go. The tentative move-in date is December 1st. I just walked in for the first time. This is our new house, Darren. I was pulling out all the stops for the new studio. We installed new lighting. We painted the walls to a bright white so that they would reflect the most light for working conditions. I had collected furniture over the months prior to moving to create the most desk space possible. I moved my entire collection from my childhood bedroom and my family helped me install shelves to display them along the feature wall. I took the time to make each detail perfect, installing lights and arranging the horses just so. I also made a point to display my logo, utilizing the skills I learned along the way. organized each space based on the things that I learnt from each studio space. I even took the time to apply white vinyl to all the table spaces for optimum light and working. This is by far the studio of my dreams. This isn't just a story about the studio. This isn't about the studio at all. This is the story of my life. This is how I fell in love. 
how I followed my dreams, how I stayed true to my heart. This is my craft, my art. So when I walk into the studio, I see my journey. I see every tiny detail. I see every moment that brought me here. me who I am today. And now I know this is exactly where I am supposed to be.